Welcome to our seminar series on immunity. In this video, we will explore the changes that take place in our immune system with age and how these changes leave us vulnerable to infections. Every day, we're exposed to pathogens in the environment. Luckily, our immune system can recognize these pathogens and destroy them before they can take over our bodies. This is why having a strong immune system is key to being able to properly respond to infections. Humans are born with an immature immune system. We build our antibody repertoire or our immune memory as we age when we're exposed to different pathogens. Here is a simple example of how it works. We start off with a small pool of antibodies. When you're exposed to virus A, you experience your first viral infection. Following this encounter, you'll develop antibodies against virus A. Subsequently, you're exposed to virus B. As a result, you'll acquire antibodies against virus B. Now your antibody collection contains antibodies against both virus A and virus B. Every time a person is exposed to a new pathogen, this process is repeated. But there's a little snag to this perfect system. Our immune systems slow down as we age. While you most certainly are exposed to more pathogens with age, our immune systems change, affecting its ability to protect us. As we age, our immune memory is lost. The diversity of memory cells that hold information about antibodies decrease as we age, leading to immune memory loss. What's more, the stem cell number is reduced with age. Since the hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow are responsible for replenishing the immune system, our capacity to replenish the cells in the immune system decreases with age. Finally, changes happen in our DNA with age. These DNA changes can influence the function of stem cells. Studies show that older stem cells are not as robust as young stem cells in terms of their capacity to produce new stem cells. But why is immune aging or immunosenescence a problem? The following case studies can provide us with much insights into this question. The first study examined pandemic influenza and observed a link between the number of influenza deaths and age. The very young and the very old are much more susceptible and are likely to perish from the flu. What's more, this disease severity corresponds well with the robustness of the immune system and its ability to respond to infections with age. Newborns who have an immature immune system and the elderly with aged immune systems are unable to respond to infections with the same robustness of a young person. As a result, both the seasonal and the pandemic flus are much more dangerous to people in these specific age groups. The second study looks at COVID-19 data from China. Similar to the flu, the COVID-19 infections were much more likely to be lethal to a person over the age of 55. The trend is similar if you observe data from North America. The elderly population was much more susceptible to COVID-19. This could be due to several different factors such as underlying disease conditions or a weakened immune system. What is more important to realize is that immunosenescence or the aging of the immune system can dramatically increase the risk of any infection as well as its severity as we grow older. For those of you who are interested, I'll be talking more about research that is underway to solve the problem of the aging immune system in the next video of the immunity series. Still have questions? Feel free to explore our other lessons to learn more. Or you can reach us at info at and we'll be happy to assist you.